unbelievable things. Things we can't even fathom because God is going to blow everybody's mind. Man. Do not limit yourself to your own dreams. Pray that you have God's dream for you. Mm. And we know we can't beat God whatever God dreams for you to have. Amen. Um, you're going to be an Oscar winner. Woo! You're going to be a Tony winner. Come on. You're going to be you're going to be an ego. Yes. I know that you're going to you're you're not gonna worry about money or bills. Those are gonna he's moving you up several levels where you're gonna have access to the things to be able to not only do well for yourself, but do well for others around you. Yeah, and so, um, I am very proud of you. And I'm trying to Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't do it. That's all right. You've been also confident. You have been a sister when I meet you. An auntie to my children. A sister to my husband. My social media manager, <laughs> my some of the everything, life coach, life coach. <laughs> um, and a therapist or you know stylist, hairdresser, whatever it is. I love, you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I know that you're gonna be amazing. of four Amtrak trains and we are about let's see 12 hours into this 24 hour train ride the first train ride is 24 hours from Fort Lauderdale to DC and after that it's like maybe 23 hours 22 something like that from DC to Chicago then Chicago to Los Angeles is about 48 hours and then Los Angeles to Burbank, which is my final destination. It's like 20 minutes. So yeah, I'm moving across country with my friend Adam. He is my roommate. And right now we are 12 hours later. We're in some part of Georgia, some really big town. You can't really see much out there of people. So y'all, for dinner, what do we have here, Adam? This is the some wild rice and vegetables. Okay, we got some salad over there, dinner roll. Uh, like some some Tito. Yeah. Tito. And a dinner roll. Yep, and then I have the braised beef and polenta. Some beans, a dinner roll, Maker's Mark, whiskey. That's a little dessert brownie stuff. All right, guys, so we've made it to DC and let me show you what the, the, I guess it's kind of like a Delta Sky Lounge, but it's an Amtrak lounge, obviously not Sky. So it's pretty empty right now. It's a few people here, but you put your luggage here. Pretty empty, spacious. You're able to socially distance yourself. It's kind of cool. And you can just wait here while you wait for your next train. Our train does not come until, what time does our train leave? 
4 yeah 4 p.m and it's like after nine right now washington monument there's adam hey adam <laughs> this is like an old like i would say 1970s picture but it's cool because you'll see how much has changed when you get out there i love it because there's nobody in here huh <laughs> not for the normies <laughs> <laughs> what do they call it? The Amtrak what? Club something? Yeah, some special name. Anyway, that's the extent of it. There's some snacks over there, pretzels. There's a dog that probably sniffs out drugs. And departures, and that's about it. Now we're going to go explore DC. Alright, so we leave Club Acela. And we're headed amongst the commoners. The Come normies. along. <laughs> We're gonna walk out to this is Union Station. That's a good place. What? The bus. Who is this named after? Mr. Amtrak? Probably not. Yes. Wellington Amtrak. <laughs> right there. Amtrak. Randolph. Hey Philip. He looks like he could be black. We all say he's black. Mm -hmm. Hey Philip Randolph. You know him? Hey Philip Randolph? What the hell is that? Oh, it says black light. Oh shit. <laughs> You never had an Hell Randolph? no, what oh. Dedicated by the whatever to the memory of Philip A. Philip Randolph, America's foremost black labor and civil rights leader. Yo, shout out to you, A. Philip. I ain't even heard of you. Apparently Adam has. Look at this. Look at that statues all around it's just something very historical about the details as I was trying to charge my phone before I got in here they used to have a huge fountain right here I wonder why they took it away Foggy Bottom, George Washington University uh, destination. Looking like tourists. The Kennedy Center. Oh, George Washington University Hospital. Do you know where we're going? We could just Google, yeah, the Lincoln Memorial and walk towards it. Y'all, it's hot. I mean, I sweat like instantly outside, but it's hot in DC, y'all. We're about to go to the George Washington statue. Guys, do you know how many times Olivia Pope met somebody in this park? The fact that Scandal wasn't filmed in D.C. is a, a travesty. Why? Wow. Looking for a secret meeting right now. <laughs> Olivia Pope out here somewhere. Nobody in the trench coat. <laughs> nope, just a few homeless people. Some joggers and university students George Washington the first president and you know notorious slave owner well this is underwhelming it says Washington right there and that's about it There's Washington Hospital where we just left. Oh, makes sense. Uh, all the dubs up. Yep. Wanna go the other way now? Uh, yeah, I guess. Let's make it Right walk. down there. Now we're about to take this long ass okay, walk. No. But it's clear down there, so I figure I kind of know what the area looks like. I've actually never been to the Lincoln Memorial.
Fourth born seven years ago. Their forefathers. And there he is. There's Buddy. Quiet respect. Kiss my butt. It says quiet respect, please. Pull it. <laughs> Wasn't there a movie, Night at the Museum or something, where Lincoln came alive? Yeah. I never saw it, but it did happen. Unfortunately. Only the black people believe in masks here. I don't even try to understand anymore. All right, so I don't know if I'll be able to use this footage because of the music, but we have stumbled upon a black owned spot called Butter Me Up in the middle of DC, um, not far from the Howard Theater. It's really nice looking at here. There's Adam. And it's early, so there aren't any, any people really in here, like maybe two or three people. I like it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at Butter Me Up in the middle of DC. We have. Oh, hangry. I didn't even see that. Uh-uh, the flag, the flag got to go. Bad tempered or irritable as a result of hunger. I get very hangry if I miss a meal. So we got some house fries with some mumbo sauce. And a Krabby Patty. We have the same thing. All right, we're gonna tear it up, y'all. I'll let you know how it is. Black owned spot, butter me up. So our ticket comes in a 90s, I guess a 90s classic movie. Yeah. back of the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial. Just put this up not too long ago. Out of the mountain of despair, a stone of hope. And they got all his famous sayings all across the walls. There he is. 
across it's facing the Jefferson Memorial. Beautiful. Now this deserves a moment of silence. 